Today in Lesson 8, students learned how to multiply decimals and where to put the decimal points. Okay, So I encourage them first to line up the multiplication problem by ignoring the decimal points. They're very comfortable with this multiplication. Okay, And it's a great way to start the lesson. When you multiply 72 times 43, you get an answer of 3,096, okay? But now we have to figure out where the decimal point goes back into our answer or our product, okay? So I encourage the students to look at the place values of the decimal points they were multiplying. We are multiplying a, a number in the tenths by a number in the tenths. So I encourage the students, okay, you have a tenth multiplied by a tenth. Where do you think your decimal is going to be? 1 times 1 is 1. 10 times 10 is 100. Your answer should be in the hundredths place, okay? which means that you have to have two places after the decimal, which is 30 and 96 one hundredths. Okay, and we did the same thing for the next problem. I encourage them to line up the problem without the decimal point and to just multiply the numbers out to get a product and to evaluate the decimal place values that they were multiplying. Okay, I have a one hundredth, I have a number in the hundredth spot multiplied by a number in the tenth spot. So my answer really should be in the thousandth spot when it comes to my decimal. And a decimal in the thousands has three places after the decimal. So it's going to go right there. And that's really why when you multiply decimals, if we had put them in here, when you get good at realizing what your answer, the place your answer should be in, there is a shortcut. You move the decimal out one, two times, in your problem, you move it in one, two times. If we put the decimal point back here, you move your decimal point a total of three times out, and you move it a total of three times back into your answer. But this fractional understanding is why you get to do it. So let's do one more in our video. Okay, I am multi I'm again encouraging the kids to take the decimal points out and line up just the numbers. Okay, when you do this, you will get this. Okay, and then you have to figure out where to put the decimal back in. I have a number in the thousandth place multiplied by a number in the tenths place, and your answer should be a thousand times ten should be in the ten thousandths place. Okay, and that's four places after the decimal. And let's check and see. You could move the decimal out one, two, three, four spots, and you move it in one, two, three, four spots. This is the easier way to figure out where to put the decimal back into the multiplication problem. This was a brief summary of Lesson 8.